Well, the, the cheapest measure uh, altogether is to have a look at your electrical appliances and your electrical fittings, your light fittings, for example. Uh, normally, the uh, light fittings and the appliances account for a very high proportion of your uh, total energy demand. So that's very cheap to buy low-energy light bulbs. Um, that's one measure you can do. Another very low-cost measure is to uh, cut out any drafts. So especially older buildings can tend to have a lot of drafts, uh, two cracks in the, in the construction, gaps around the window and so forth. And it's very easy and cheap uh, to fix those and to, to set those right. So that's another measure you could do. Um, also what would you use? What kind of materials? Or you said you don't recommend uh, silicone. Well, there are certain. Uh, I mean, there are silicones and silicones. So if you're going to do some air tightness work on your house, uh, you're better off uh, contacting specialists in this area and to ask their advice. And don't just buy the Home Depot, you know, silicone uh, or some other brand like that. Um, that, uh, for example, hasn't been maybe specially designed or tested for in terms of longevity. Um, it may be that the likes of Home Depot and others have a great range of tested products, so just make sure that you're buying something that's going to last. What about windows? Would you recommend um, retrofitting the windows or taking out old windows and replacing them with Yes, um, especially if the windows are in very poor condition. Uh, maybe the windows, uh, maybe the action on them is not as good as it was in the past and maybe they're starting to rot or deteriorate. Um, so that's definitely a measure I would recommend. It's at the higher end of things in terms of expense. Um, very, very high quality windows tend to be quite expensive. But, so the payback period is quite a bit longer. Uh, but they'll bring a lot of benefits in terms of reduced energy, higher comfort, uh, less drafts, and also in a, an urban environment like this, much reduced uh, sound pollution. So a lot of benefits, um, especially on north face, excuse me, north facing windows. So if you had to prioritize some elevations, you could prioritize north facing windows first of all, because that's where you'll have the greatest amount of heat loss. apartment, two bedroom apartment, window installation, let's say, you know, six windows or something. Approximately, what, what would be the payback period? Uh, to replace with extremely high quality windows like we've been talking about here this evening, uh, I think honestly the payback period could be quite substantial. It could be 10 years or something like that. But if it's your home and uh, it's going to be your final home place to spend the rest of your days, well then that's a worthwhile investment, I think. What do you think of green roofs in terms of insulation? Uh, I think it's a great idea. Um, you get a lot of uh, added benefits from green roofs apart from the insulation value. You've got, uh, you've got less uh, heat gain in the city. Uh, you've got uh, reduced runoff, uh, water runoff, storm off, runoff from the roof, enhanced ecological benefit, landscape benefits. So. Um, I think it's definitely something that uh, we should be doing. If we can combine something that saves energy and also enhances nature, well then that's a great thing to do. Well, and one last question. In terms of air conditioners, I'm sure you've seen all these window units around New York City. Yes. And there's a huge amount of draft. Would you recommend taking those out and putting in like a split system or just, you know, um, somehow insulating the, these units, you know, the existing units? Yeah. What do you think is better? Well, first of all, you shouldn't have any uh, drafts in your house. You shouldn't have any uncontrolled cold air coming in or any uncontrolled warm air coming in. So um, the fact that they, that they cause a lot of drafts is a problem. I suppose, again, the simplest measure is to make sure that they're well sealed up that you don't have any drafts. Um, the mini split systems are of course uh, an enhancement on that I would say. And uh, but if you're trying to do it on a budget, the first thing you should try to do is look very carefully at the, the, the ceiling around those.